Thankfully, we have Elvis running the supercomputer doing all the difficult calculations. Hey, what's happening guys? Today, I'm playing around again with the AD9833, which is a DDS Direct Digital uh, Synthesizer, trying to create the Arduino Signal Generator. And I'm having moderate success with it. As you can see down below, we have a uh, control panel. And I don't know how well you can see this, but what I'm doing here is I'm simply running a 1 megahertz square wave out of the AD9833. And you know, that, that looks pretty good. So let me uh, zoom you into the screen so that you can see a little bit better. Bear with me. have to adjust things. Eh. We are not high tech in the camera department here. Come on. So just so you know what you're looking at, I'm going to turn on the measurements. And you can see we have our frequency, our period, our duty cycle, volts peak to peak, and volts RMS. So, working pretty good with the square wave. Now, things get a little bit wonky if I try and switch to a sine wave. Now, I'm only going to change the shape of the wave. I'm not going to change the frequencies you'll be able to see down here on the control panel. And of course, there's a train coming when I decide to do this. Anyway, so... Yeah, I must have typed that wrong. Hold on. Hit the reset. Or the auto set there we go now we bring up the measurement you see we're getting a little bit of jitter there one megahertz duty cycle just a little little bit off and the volts peak to peak is also a little bit off let's change it again to a triangle wave Then we'll take a look at our measurements. Frequency is holding steady. Well, close to holding steady. It's actually dropping about 2%. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna change the frequency to 10 kilohertz. And we'll auto set once again. Now I put in 10 kilohertz. You can see we're getting close to it. Down here it doesn't quite know what to make of it. It's saying 19, 18 kilohertz and we're getting jumpy. Let me change this to a square wave. When we go to the square wave, we're right on. Locked in. Let me go to a sine wave. See, it's showing us 10 kilohertz here, but the hardware counter is seeing 15. We're getting a little bit of jitter. I'm just, I'm not quite sure why this is happening. And it does seem to be happening at different frequencies. Let me change the frequency again 
this time we'll go 500 hertz. I must have typed it wrong. Hold on. Am I messing this up somehow? What is going on here? Let me try one more time. There we go. So 501. Yeah, see, it's, see it's, it's funky. 500 hertz, 499, 500. This down here is saying 6.4 kilohertz. And we're getting jitter. You can see our duty cycle, 4350. And we're having a 7% shift in duty cycle. It's very strange, and I don't know what is causing it. Because if I go to the um, square wave, it does not seem to be an issue. Well, now we're getting a little bit of jumpy, but we're only changing a half a hertz, which is eh, kind of acceptable. I don't know why it's doing this. That's the whole point. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Elvis is over there working as hard as he can on the supercomputer, and he doesn't have any ID either. So, what do you guys think? Why am I getting this over 7% change in frequency on square and triangle waves, but not with the square waves? Now, I could understand if I was generating square waves and then using an integrator or an RC filter to change the waveform, but I'm not. This is direct digital synthesis. It's creating those waves out of lookup tables. And the frequencies I'm using are well within range of the AD9833. So it's... Uh, it's somewhat confusing. I like your opinion. Uh, tell me down below in the comments, what do you think is going on here? Because I really don't know. And I'm trying to figure it out so that I can whip up the code for this thing. And, uh, you know, we can make this into a PC board. You can get a 9833 chip for like $3. And five PC boards for $5. And I'm hoping that for under $10, you know, you can get yourself... A fully functional uh, generator so let me know what you think that's that's what I'm getting at all right if you enjoyed this video I hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and please please subscribe we're at almost 98,000 subscribers when we get to 100,000 if I'm still alive we're gonna give away a whole bunch of stuff so if you haven't subscribed subscribe all right that's it I'm out peace